Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired role-playing game show powered by Overarms, available now on TryThroughRPG.com. I am Stephen Pope, your bald uncle, your GM, your vice principal, and I am not emotionally ready for this episode, but we're doing it anyway because I'm a professional, goddammit, and I'm going to do it, okay? It's happening. And before we get into that, let's, but before we emotionally traumatize me and uh, Critical Bard and everyone else at the table, and you at home, don't think you're getting away from this unscathed, let's meet our beautiful table. Starting with, he's not a vampire, but he is mostly Eric, Eric Record. Hi. Uh, definitely not a vampire. There's no reason to hold a mirror to me. Anyways, we don't use silver in our mirrors, so that trick doesn't work. Not that I would know. Hi. Welcome on in. My name's Eric. I am playing Lennox Thatcher, uh, the, the former sports boy uh, who, who now does other things. What? I don't know. He hasn't figured that stuff out yet. He had, but he does have the god Ninkasi living inside him, the Sumerian goddess of beer. And next up, they're a beautiful autumn day in the middle of spring. It's Aki. I'm a, I'm a beautiful autumn day in the middle of every every um every season because that's my name. Hi everybody, I'm Aki. Uh, I play I play Manny, uh, Emancipation Brown, um, whose uh, divinity is the goddess Maat, the goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Uh, they're the the good, you know cheerleader being on the on the not exactly cheerleader pep squad but not even really on the pep squad more like manager of anyways um they are they're the uh classic enabler of the group making sure everybody feels <laughs> empowered to do whatever it is they got to do and that's me and we do love that about them uh and last but certainly not least they rolled a nat 20 on charisma and everything else in life it's critical bard Oh, hi. My name is Omega Jones, also known as a Critical Bar. Critical Bar, <laughs> critical bar across all social media channels. Uh, I'm an active on this tabletop professional, and I am here playing Kawame Akinyemi, um, who's our resident cool cat of the Not School Safety Squad. And we uh, and he has the divinity of uh, Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories. Uh, th that's him for now. I won't reveal anything else yet. Fair enough. So, before we dive into everything, we have a few, uh, you know, shout outs, loves, hearts, things to throw around. It's great. Uh, so, to let everyone at home know, we're, we are still aiming to raise $150 or 50 new subs, you know. Uh, hitting this allows us to continue with our amazing cast, keeps us fed, keeps us in uh, guacamole from Chipotle because that's what I want in life. I want to be able to just get the guacamole without having to think, oh, can I afford it? And that's what this helps. And you subscribing helps us do that. And I appreciate that. And hey, if you can't afford to back us, spread the word, send the love. We appreciate it. But hey, a tip of $15 will allow you to send a message to the chat, chat uh, which will be read by Gladys, the school secretary who has a very colorful life. We keep learning more and more about her every week. It's fascinating stuff, really. Um, and hey, we want to send some love to our sponsor for this uh, season, Hero Forge, where you can create your own custom 3D miniature. Uh, you can have them fully 3D printed uh, in either colored resin or uh, paintable plastic. We have one right here. Look at this beautiful, beautiful boy. I love him very much. And I can get acrylic standees, which are great. You just throw those in a backpack and not worry about them or use them as a bookmark if so be it. Great stuff. Uh, we also have to send some love to Die Hard Dice. Get 10% off your order uh, at Die Hard Dice by using the code SAVINGTHROW22 at checkout. If you are in the chat right now, exclamation point DHD uh, for links and info. And hey, if you're listening to us or watching us on YouTube, hello there. Thank you. We love you. Comment, subscribe, hit the bell, the whole nine yards, because it will help us, and we love you for it. And lastly, if you want to get some cool stuff like adventures or pins or other stuff, check us out on Ko-fi, uh, exclamation point K-O-F-I in the chat to check it out. 
you can tip as you would regularly, but you can also join the Aspiration Society. Uh, same great rewards as our Patreon, and you unlock things with toast in the chat. It's great. We love it. And I'm sorry if this is a l- if I sound a little bit stressed because this is going to be kind of a stressful episode for me. Stop! Stop manifesting it. <laughs> Just let it be. It's an anxiety disorder, CB. I can't help it. So, last week we got to see your lives in this dream world, in this world born from a wish. We got to see you deal with an Echo and hang out with Nanako. And we got to see what Lenny would be like if he didn't have the dad he does and had someone else looking out for him. If Manny was taken seriously and respected and everything, more so than they already are. The biggest change, though, was Kwame. Kwame, your powers are possibly the strongest ones in the party. You know this about yourself. You can alter reality on a whim. And while everyone in the everyone in the school safety squad is powerful and more than capable, you have something they don't and that is an ability to just rewrite reality. And you know that that's not for free. You know there are ramifications for the things you create. And I think it's safe to say the worst moment of your life was when you had to learn that the hard way. And in this world made by the devil, in this world that doesn't have consequences for what happened, your mom is very much alive. Kwame, you stand in your family kitchen. The sound of Abba is playing. Currently, it's Fernando. And your mom is cleaning up after your father's terrible attempt at breakfast and just kind of having a very mundane day. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, that's still a moment where he kind of hangs out in the hallway before getting in the kitchen can just kind of like psych himself up. <clears throat> and um takes a long breath before um, he begins to walk towards the kitchen and kind of hangs out at the opening watching his mom you know wipe things down doing her little jig that she does when she listens to to um actually it's just one of her three favorite songs <laughs> um uh and uh and she and he just kind of watches and takes it in before he uh, <clears throat> um, hi uh, your mom looks up uh, hey busy day I haven't heard from you um yeah, I um, was with my friends and uh, I've been kind of traveling around, you know, um, doing kid stuff, teenager stuff. Oh, very descriptive, very informative teenager stuff. Yes, that, that paints such a vivid picture. If you were out with that Lenny boy, you can tell me I'm... Mm-hmm. It's not about... Yeah, no, mm, yes, no, yes, um, not the current uh, 
topic though weird to even say that um how are you how was your day uh, well had a uh, argument with your father about the fujis went on a jog came home found his attempt at an apology and now i have a kitchen cl to clean So a pretty good day. You know, he tries. He tries to take care of a lot. Um, I think he might feel like he's overcompensating or, or, or making up for any kind of pauses. Um, he tries. Hmm. He's a good man. Um... Are you okay? Baby? A question. Uh, just like totally hypothetical. Uh, say you were um having to make a decision and um it's a pretty big one um and you know that it's something you have to do but it might cause a lot of problems elsewhere w what would you do Well, that's kind of a hard question, maybe. I mean, being an adult is making hard decisions almost every day. Is something wrong? Is someone in trouble? No, no, no. Um, no one's in trouble. All right. Well, why are you making this decision, I guess? What would be lost if you did it and what would be gained if you did? Um, well, what would be gained is hypothetically um, normalcy, um, the same old, same old, uh, which in this case is a good thing. But what would be lost would be everything else. And it just doesn't feel fair. Well, If I was in this position, I'd have to look at what I would be losing and what would be gained. I'm, I know that's a little uh, Machiavellian, I guess would be the word, but I have to think about who would be hurt if I didn't do this. And I'd have to think about how it would hurt the people I love if I did. And I'd have to weigh on if it would make more people happy in this situation, I suppose. You know how... Um... <clears throat> you know how I like, you know, writing poetry and reading comics and stuff like that. She gets a little nod. 
Say, for instance, there was someone. I guess it's the best way I can say it. Say, for instance, there was someone who made a decision. And while that decision was good, it took away someone they love very much. And then one day they woke up and that person was there. And they now have to make a decision to reverse what has happened or potentially try to save what is here now, but that's a really big risk and a high probability it wouldn't happen. And that person would go away again. If you were the sole person or part of a thing that could make that decision, what would you do? She's trying really hard not to just be a mom right now, just rush over to you, hold you, try to make you feel better because she can tell you are struggling. She puts down the rag she was using to clean off whatever your dad managed to get stuck to the back of the uh, stove. Did I ever tell you when I had to say goodbye to your grandmother? She was, uh, she passed a little bit before you were born. Um, I was in the hospital with her and I was holding her hand and I I had to say goodbye and it hurt so deeply, so viscerally that I thought I would never ever be okay. I thought that that was going to be my end, that saying goodbye was the end. And then four months later, you came along. And in this situation, this hypothetical, if I had already said goodbye and I had walked forward and grown and changed. I don't think it would be fair to me or them if I tried to take it all back. But that's the thing. I didn't get to say goodbye. And now it's hard to make that decision when the thing you didn't get a chance to have that moment with is standing right in front of you. And I don't know how to make that decision. And if I left it alone, that person would just stay. That moment never happened. And yes, growth happened. And yes, I met friends. And yes, I met someone I care about more than I never thought I would care about. But the truth of the matter is, I wouldn't have had that if that moment didn't happen. So I just, <sighs> she won't understand this and I don't, 
don't expect you to. I don't expect any um, reconciliation or, 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 I don't know. But I'm sorry. And I'm going to try to make sure that both things can exist at the same time, that all is fine in the end. I know this sounds ridiculous. I just... I'm sorry. She's almost immediately next to you and she has her arms around you and she is holding you so tightly. And she's stroking your back like she used to and just... Oh, he just starts bawling. And she's confused and she's worried and she doesn't know why you're talking like this or what exactly you're talking about, but she loves you and she does not want to see you in pain. And she is, she whispers, it's okay. I'm sorry too, baby. It's okay. It takes a little while, but he eventually pulls away. Um, but don't, don't worry. Um, it's all hypothetical. Um, I just wanted to make sure that um, I got to see you before I, um, I just needed to come see you. Uh, sorry about running away this morning, yesterday morning. I don't know. You never need to apologize to me, baby. I will always love you and I will always forgive you. I promise. He's going to hug her one more time, um, kiss her on the cheek. Um, I'll, I'll be around. Just tell, um, tell dad that, um, I might not be home tonight. I'm just spending some time with my friends. Um, okay. Maybe tomorrow we can all have dinner together. I'll make your favorite. And he's going to step away, kind of take it all in once more. Um, and then turn on his heel and walk back out. Ooh. He immediately, I guess, immediately gets into his car. He just waits for a long time. Uh, everyone gets a group text saying that um, on the way to Manny's. Um, that's it. On the way to Manny's, period. Then he's going to start driving over. All right. I need a drink after that. Oof. I'm going to call my mom later. So. On the other side of North Point, away from the Akinyemi house, uh, Lenny, Manny, and Dahlia 
uh, Mika will not be. Sadly, Mika is unable to join us today. She's having a, it's a migraine issue. She'll be fine. We'll see her next week. Um, the two of you, uh, you were going to meet Nanako at the dormitory, correct? Yeah. Cha. Yeah. Um, well, Nanako meets you there. She is, uh, she's got a backpack filled with you're not sure what, and she's joined by, uh, Kim. Grumpy and, uh, significantly older than all of you right now. And, uh, having a very interesting conversation while Kit, where Kim tries to fill in her side of the story for Nanako and doing a bit of a piss poor job. <sighs> so you are a, uh, you're my age? No, I'm 10 years older. I just died. Oh, and you came back? Yeah. How is this complicated? I have so many questions, and I'm just terrified to ask any of them. Well, uh, oh, it's Manny. Hello. Hi. Hi, Lenny. Hello. Uh, yeah, there was a door to oblivion and, a, and an orb that uh, that you saw all time in, and then... Um, then it was an here. orb that required you to ponder it. Mm -hmm. Oh. And do you not have those here? I'm sure we do. I just don't uh seek those out oh well, yeah i mean i didn't seek it out i was sort of uh i guess i uh, pulled into it uh pulled apart and put back together again uh and saw all time simultaneously uh for it was a brief fine. moment well i'm i'm okay now and honestly this is th that's what makes this all weird because none of this was in that so like that's super weird it's because i think this exists outside of time yeah which is weird. Yeah. Kwame just texted. He said he was on his way. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I have all the materials we need to, uh, you know, Nanako holds her arms off and kind of just like a little wiggle. Uh, go into the dreaming with all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would suggest also making sure you use the restroom before we go. And I hope you haven't eaten within the last 30 minutes. I think that's swimming. When you hit the dreaming, you'll understand. Yeah. Also, like, um, uh, don't have any unrealized or trauma. That helps. All three of you kind of glance over to Kim. What? Manny does not look at Kim. Manny, <laughs> Manny is um, is looking at Lenny and uh, kind of shaking their head a little bit. So really it's uh, Nanako and Manny looking at Lenny and Kim, just kind of like, this is, that that's very vital information for you too. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I didn't really get to do any of the things that I was supposed to do here, apparently. Uh, Nanako checks her watch, but we have plenty of time before we uh, agree to dive in. No, I just mean that, like, I'm supposed, I was supposed to go to a meeting and I totally missed that. And, like, I'm thinking that the Manny that lived in this universe wouldn't have forgotten to go to, like, an important pep squad meeting because they're the captain of the pep squad. Uh, Manny, I want you to give me a charisma roll or an intelligence roll. Your pick. Oh, oh, okay, cool. A charisma roll or an intelligence roll. Sure, because if I can move my mouse over to this screen over here, I can do that for you. Oh, that's what gonna be a four. <clears throat> okay, we were looking for a three. Nanako is trying very hard not to kind of giggle when you say that. Why? 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 Oh, uh, no. Manny, um, you're probably my best friend. It's just, um, you can be a bit scatterbrained some days. Me? Scatterbrained? I'm not scatterbrained, am I? Is that how you would describe me? 
Well, no. I'm just saying someday. I, I wasn't talking to you. You're oh, the one sorry. who called me scatterbrained. I'm asking sorry, Lenny. Sorry. Um, I don't. I don't want to say anything that's going to upset you, but I also don't want to lie to you. I always, well, I mean, okay, sure. Uh -huh. I've always known that when you care about something, you approach it with purpose. Okay, that's, that's not a no. Yeah, I've heard, um, this isn't like my word, um, but I've heard um, in conversation about you, the term space cadet. Um, I'm not a hundred percent like certain about like what it means or, or, but I've, I've heard that. And they do that thing that like, you know, the really cute characters and animes do where they like kind of do the whine and like the <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> But like space is is like cool and infinite and like, um, like you know, it's you know, also space, an empty void. Well, space can't care about you because it's so it's caring about so much. Lenny, no, I don't know. I'm trying. That's not helpful. I don't know. Space cadet, I'll show you a space cadet. Kim lets out a sigh. Oh, God. Listen, Manny, look. You're a little out there sometimes. And I've seen you forget to breathe. Not literally. Not that I can remember. But you have a good heart and everyone likes you. I call it a win. Fuck, I'm mature now. I hate this. I think it's kind of cool. Ugh, Stop. No, I think when you become an adult, you're gonna be like a really cool adult. Oh yeah. my god, shut you seem up. You like a like a really cool teacher. I yeah. I am going you seem to like kick the you type of balls. teacher that people, you know, confide in and come to if they're in trouble. Yeah. Which is like great, because you know, most of the times we don't want to tell the teacher what up what we're up to. They really like, don't. Yeah, like mm -hmm. no joke. I could see myself like walking into your office and then like you you like take a seat like on the desk and you're like, uh, what's up, champ? Or something like that. And like you're sincere about it. There's nothing weird about it. Oh my god. You think you could be are you interested in becoming a teacher one day? I'm not answering that. Uh go ahead and roll me charisma. <laughs> We're looking for a four. Fingers crossed here. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have roll rerolls this game. Oh yes, that's right. I got because an eight. We... <laughs> she a hundred percent has been thinking about it. Aww. Like this whole time she's been like, maybe this is a good fit for me. Uh, Manny doesn't say anything, but like they just kind of lift up, like, like a, as subtle as they possibly can, like a little thumbs up against their chest, like, so that only Kim can see it. And, like, I am going to break that thumb. I see that thumb. I'm Put trying, that away. I just want to say that, like, I approve of, 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 of you becoming a teacher. I think, like I said, You'd be really cool and like your students would like you and i mean you'd get to stay close to your dad and and like you know keep keep your family close and like i know that's something that's important to you even though you try to come off as like super you know like you don't no. care about things i know you care about no. things kim no. i know you care uh Get away from me. I don't respond well to positive reinforcement. I hate this. Ah, get it away. Maybe you uh, should take some, get some therapy or, you know, up your therapy because you're in therapy, aren't you? You're in therapy. I, how did you know that? Oh, I'm Nanako. fairly certain you told us. Nanako butts in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have a great one if you want a name. Uh, I'm going to, no. Well, stop. no, I mean, Kim's going to my therapist, or at least I guess, I guess I got to find a new therapist in this universe. Unless I already got one. Uh, Kwame, this is about the time the elevator doors open. Uh, you see Kim. She is basically pulling a Nosferatu from the blinding light that is Manny's positivity. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, Kwame. Yeah. So what happens is elevator opens, sees everyone. Elevator closes really quickly. Was expecting not to see them immediately. <laughs> so <not> the elevator <laughs> um, gets himself together. Elevator opens again. He- Literally pushes the door closed. Like, no. <laughs> just like standing there moping, like the mope lines. And then it's like, close, oh, reopen. And you're just like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> kind of. I mean, a little bit. Definitely. You know, that's, there's a little bit of baggage happening under the eyes. A little, little, little puffy. Um, but he. Hey, uh, Hi. So, what's happening? Oh, uh, we're getting everything ready for, you know, nap time. Yes, nap time. Um, noted. No, get off the elevator because final destination, no. Um, and um, we'll go over to the group. It is very clear, anyone who has a good way of reading people, that he is, uh, there's a big old mask on. <laughs> Man, I think I even Nancy of... has a literal like phantom mask on his face. Yeah, I would say that Manny kind of backs up just a little bit so that like Lenny is like the most forward person in the group. He's just kind of like looking over at um, uh, Dahlia and like Nanako and Kim and just like. Well, if ever, whenever y'all are ready to come on into my room and finish helping me get set up. Uh, actually, Dahlia, uh, Nanako, um, Kim, you want to come with me? Before Nanako or Dahlia can say anything, Kim just butts in. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's all go. Um, come on. Come on, girls. I did not just say that. Okay, come on. <laughs> and by the way, Manny, I just checked. I just checked my watch. You do have time if you want to run back, run to your meeting. Just saying. What's a walk on the wild side? I'll be back soon. (laughs) Great. With that, Kim literally pushes Dahlia and Nanako into your room, enters herself, and closes the door, leaving Lenny and Kwame alone while Manny goes to their meeting. What have I missed? Um, we keep, we're trying to tell Kim she should be a teacher, um, and she doesn't want to, um, and you know a bunch of other stuff that doesn't really matter. Uh, it matters. It's nice to you know, um, not think about what just happened. Um, is that the route we want to take? Not not thinking about it because. That, that is an acceptable way to go. Um, no, but um, it's one of those things where um, what's done is done, and now we just have to figure out um, what to do from here. Well, I mean... It's pretty easy. Next step, we all take a big nap and we go to a dream and we figure out what the next step is after that. And then we figure out what the next step is. We just keep taking like, I don't know, like little steps and see where we end up. And if we got time to look back and reflect on all the steps we took, that's cool, but you know? As he's talking, Kwame just goes over and just like takes him in and hugs him and like holds. I I sorry if this is not okay. I just um No, this is like the most okay thing. He just kind of stands there. He just needs the comfort. There's a warmth that's coming from Lenny, and he is very much um, relishing it. Um, 
We are going to um, we're going to figure this out. Of course we are. I mean, it's us. I mean, what we're we'll, we gonna give up now? That's not what we do. We we solve shit and we kick ass. So that's what we're gonna like do, because that's that's what we do. I feel like we need a new name other than the school safety squad now. We'd be ass kickers. Um, I don't. Uh, they they don't they don't like you if you swear in official like uh, names and stuff like that. So like we could be like it could be like a, a name we call ourselves or whatever. But like I don't think the school would ever actually allow us to to call ourselves that. I mean, but isn't a actual curse word, and still has the same idea. Okay. Butt kickers. We Butt could be the BKs. BKs. Burger Kings. Bur- oh no. Hey, Lenny. Mm-hmm. And if he lets it happen, Kwame's going to attempt to kiss him. Yeah, Lenny lets that happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the kiss. <laughs> what about me? I'm, I'm here too. Hi. <laughs> Neither a lady you nor a gentleman. Ladies Okay, ladies, gentlemen, and those who know better, we have a kiss. <laughs> and those who know better. Thank you for acknowledging my presence. <laughs> he just he you backs think, up. You think that Manny like walks away from these scenes for Manny's sake? They walk away from these scenes for Aki's sake. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Kwame is like purple. Because black people blush, but it blushes purple sometimes, especially those darker skin ones. Um, but like, yeah, he definitely just um, okay. Um, then let's. We should probably help the the girls with uh, with whatever is happening. Uh, yeah. Or you know, or we don't. I think I think it's all happened. But yeah, we can go anywhere. Or we can go anywhere. I think he just pulls Lenny for a bit, and it's like, I feel like, and correct me if not, I just feel like they just walk, wander, kind yeah. of take in each other and the space, kind of confiding, um, non verbally, sometimes verbally. Um, I mean, it can be fully nonverbal because I'm telepathic. It is. Oh God, <laughs> they're gonna be those people. <laughs> oh, God, you never want to play Pictionary with those people. Yep. Uh, bet. Yeah, it is nonverbal, and I think definitely like leans in um, and just just gonna go to B for a bit until they go back. Nanako's not sure why. But she feels like a ship has sailed in the <laughs> best possible way. And she really just wants just to... like my Japanese anime. She just wants to go read some shoujo manga right now, and she doesn't know why. From there, we go... We follow Manny to... Well, where... The student government and uh, the pep squad are meeting. Ben Ben Patton is there. He's joined by Piotr. They're currently uh, sniping at each other the way they do. And Leila Saeed is there. Um, she's like maybe 4'11", 4'10". By 5, if she's really really lucky and standing super straight and the ruler's a little bent um i don't know if those two actually need to like start doing fisticuffs or date or whatever i don't know they need to get it together that's for sure layla giggles a little bit i think it's sweet they're friends they are they just give me a headache sometimes are you ready to call the meeting to order? Ah, yes, yes, of course, of course. Um, she 
goes to her little podium. She has a gavel because school president, you get a gavel. And calls the meeting into order. And even though she is a tiny, tiny young woman, everyone shuts the fuck up, takes their seat, and all eyes are on YouTube. So, as president of the, as, sorry, she clears her throat a little bit. As president of school government and as president of the school pep squad, we are currently trying to decide the elements for the upcoming uh, end of the year festivities. They are several months away, but we have a very small budget for this, and we have to make some hard decisions. Um, however, we do have a brilliant, brilliant uh, pitch document here from Manny that uh, they let me read earlier. Now, Manny? What would the perfect school event look like to you? Oh. Blue sky, no budget, whatever you wanted. I think a it would be a ode to the surrounding area, like bringing the outside in, like a celebration of where we live. Um. It would be like part interactive experience, like almost like a haunted house, but not like actually scary, like a fully immersive interactive experience where like people have to like go through like, you know, a tunnel of some kind to get into the actual dance party and like any exit that they take out from the, 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 uh, the gym, gymnasium, or wherever we're holding the dance, like leads them on little mini adventures that like talk about various parts of the town and like stuff like that. Like, yeah, fully immersive, fully interactive. Um, so everywhere you go uh, is an adventure. Layla reads the document that you apparently wrote, or the version of you who lives here wrote and it is that it is immersive it involves almost the entire town of north point it celebrates every facet of living here it celebrates student life it is great and you apparently at some point talked to local businesses and got them to do stuff for free and it is under budget and it is so you and so fun and all while layla's reading this all eyes are on you in the best possible way Manny is uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> really Attention uncomfortable sucks. With this. Kim has a moment of, ah, yes. Let someone else feel the pain of positive reinforcement. She doesn't know why. Um, once Layla's done reading the pitch packet, uh, all right. All those in favor. It's unanimous. Everyone in that room thinks you have a damn good idea and they want to see it happen. And there's an excitement and there's electricity and it is all because of you. How's it feel? Um, Manny is kind of, uh, it's weird because Manny doesn't seek leadership as like like it's not something that they're interested in like they like you know the opportunity to step up now and then and like help out but like they don't really care about being in charge um so it's it's an interesting feeling of being slightly embarrassed uh 
kind of bemused, like, huh, I've never ever wanted anything remotely like this kind of a feeling. Um, uh, and like having the same sort of feeling as Dahlia had about why would the devil think this is what I actually wanted? Like, what about this is actually like supposed to be appealing to me? Um, Cause it's not bad. Um, it's just not something they would ever purposely seek out for themselves. Yeah. Like Lenny and Kwame have like real stakes, like people they love that they've lost that like would completely change their life if that person was in it. Like this isn't, yeah, this doesn't feel like that same sort of weight for Manny at all. Yeah, it's kind of fascinating that he would do this, which in the grand scheme of things is pretty small. Just kind of, hey, people listen to Manny more here. People take Manny a little more seriously. It's minor. And it's kind of odd. I guess uh, it's really hard for the devil to lie to somebody who already knows the truth about themselves. Kind of. The rest of the meeting goes very smoothly. Uh, the pep squad is in charge of a rally next week uh, for the lacrosse team. Uh, student government has to uh, prepare for uh, another foreign exchange program coming soon. There's going to be an open house uh, before graduation this year. Uh, your end of the year party is 100% approved. So now they have to figure out the logistics for that. And once the meeting ends, uh, everyone kind of parts ways, except Layla comes up to you and you are so smart. You know that? It's very interesting that you say that because only about 10 minutes ago, people were describing me as scatterbrain and a space cadet. I don't, I don't see those as a mutually exclusive. Huh. Interesting. But thank oh. you. I, I mean, I'm just glad that everybody liked the idea. I can't believe I thought of that. Why? Oh, it's a little complicated, but, um, in any case, I'm, I'm, Excited to help you all build that. It's going to be fun. Pretty sure the first and second years will also be stoked to be involved. I think that's why I, if I had to give my position to anyone else, it would be you. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I know that's a strange thing to say. It's just, uh, you care so much. Well, I just, I want everyone to um, feel they have uh, every opportunity to be anything and everything they want to be. I mean, I like that. That's why I joined the pep squad in the first place. <laughs> Our whole job is to give people pep. I think you achieved that with flying colors. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the, the dance is going to be really lovely. I I think so, too. I um, I actually have to get going now because I have um, I have some things I've got to do. Um, oh. But uh, yeah, thanks for your support and your endorsement um, of my idea. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Of course. Bye. Bye, Layla. <laughs> she gives you a small wave. Uh, as far as she knows, she'll see you tomorrow. Manny feels terrible because they are not a good liar and they don't like lying at all. And as they're kind of walking away, they kind of whisper, really sorry about that, Ma.
I'll let it slide this time. It's really complicated here. Indeed. Uh, hopefully they haven't destroyed my room or found all of my snacks. I should hurry. All right, I'm going to roll d20, even or odds. Oh, boy, evens. All right. Shouldn't evens. have said nothing. Evens, they did not find it. Odds, they did. And I rolled an 18. They didn't find my snacks. They did not find your snacks. All right. So, Kwame and Lenny, while you have your little uh, walk around date, eventually the time comes to uh, lip sync for your life. I mean, get back together and wow. go into the dreamscape. Time to take a nap. Yeah, I think, I think honestly, there's a, probably like a little bit of just getting lost. Not lost, literally, but just kind of lost in the vibe. And uh, Kwame feels a prick in his, in his neck. And it's not like a bite or anything. It's literally just the end of a Nazi's foot. <laughs> One of his legs saying, uh, hello. Probably hello. What? Hello. What? He holds up uh, four arms, each one with a watch. <sighs> yes, yes, fine. Okay. All right. I could put on the lobster costume and start uh, nope. you know, the kiss the girl. We don't want that. No one, none of it. We are both masculine either way. Okay, um, I'll change the lyrics. Kiss the boy. That's going into copyright, uh, I mean, infringement of property, and that wouldn't be. It's a parody. We change the lyrics. And I'm you a spider. Not a sentient being, therefore. You. <laughs> Listen. Any... Okay. Excuse I mean, me. I know that you're like a storyteller god that has like can change reality, but um, Disney has changed copyright law like four times to hold on to Mickey Mouse. So like, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna get that fucking rodent. I promise you, <laughs> he will be mine. We'll start with Skaven, and then we'll go from there. Anywho, all right, we should head back. Start the walk back. All right question answer the thing that we got last week how have those things i don't want to implement anything until you say something happens in game okay. will we know when you it happens know. okay great 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 also i don't know if you can see my sheet i did fill it out uh <clears throat> anywho um I have a look at it on roll 20. The virtual I also video. noticed that I've been rolling my hits and my damage for uh, Manny wrong this entire time. So this, I fixed the, it. The, the whole campaign? Uh, the whole time? Yeah. The whole time? Yeah. Yeah, I fixed it. I might have been right rolling it correctly to, at the very beginning. <laughs> but like basically, I just realized that I've been hitting and doing more damage than I should be able to do. And I fixed it. So... Hot dang. It happens. But now, from now on, I'm an honest person. I mean, I was always an honest person. I just didn't realize I was making a mistake. Hey, a mistake is a mistake is a mistake. Oh, God. I'm good. You okay? <laughs> yeah. What broke? Nothing. Oh, well, something almost dead, though. My phone, the decided to hit, my phone decided to hit my surge protector. So no. things could have gotten unplugged and everything. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Anyways. We good. Yeah. So. <laughs> Everything's just oh no, don't press that. <laughs> <laughs> and you get back to the the place, open the door, see the girls have uh gone ballistic, probably. Yeah, like, like all drawers are open and <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Nanako knows better. Nanako does. That's true. Well, Kim's an adult, it'd be weird she did it. She don't care. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, yeah, head back inside. Uh, um, so, did we wait for Manny? And did we get this shindig uh, happening? Let's do this. Oh, Manny, hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. Perfect timing. Oh, uh, I didn't realize that you were waiting on me. I thought I would beat you here. But, like, Manny kind of pushes past both Kwame and Lenny to just, like, check their room and just, like, oh, okay. All right. We're good. Hi. Uh, Hi Nanako Lily. has gone through your comic collection. 
put all of them back, Nanako. Oh, sorry, sorry. Actually, I sorry. don't think it matters all that much. Depending on how things go from here on out, it might not matter. Anyways, let's let's go to sleep. I was just trying to organize them. Um, they were they were in a pile. They were organized exactly the way I needed them to be organized. <laughs> Rip. Why are you it, touching my stuff? I gotta ask, is Manning one of those people who's like, no, listen, it's organized to me. It might just be a pile to you, but to me, I know which pile has what. That's exactly how Manny is. I feel, yes. I feel personally attacked by this. <laughs> the floor <laughs> is not a shelf, Eric. <laughs> but I know where all my pants are. Wow. <laughs> In a drawer. Put them in a drawer. Those are the clean ones. The the, wow. the the ones that I've worn but are still good go on in the pile. Oh no. You sweet summer bab. Oh boy. Okay. Um the comics and dignity aside. Um I so we just go to sleep. Well, Nanako pulls out a uh Several items. A Several. small uh, metal bowl with a wooden stick and a candle. Okay. Um, let's see if I can do this correctly. If this is going to break something. No, it's just I've been practicing. Oh, wait, you wouldn't remember that. Oh, um. She kind of puffs up a little bit. I know exactly what I'm doing, and it's perfect, and I never mess up. Hm. I believe in you. I know I, you got this. I know that you have done things, and I believe in your worth. Thank you, I think. Yeah, it was totally unconvinced. unconvincing. <laughs> like, right, yeah, everybody. totally. Lie down. Nanako takes the wooden stick and taps the side of the bowl and it lets out this echoing, reverberating tone. And all of you feel yourselves falling. And you don't remember going to sleep, but you are now distinctly in the dreaming. You are standing, the floor is uh, lava. Manny's dorm. The floor is lava, yes. No, the floor is guava. Okay, mm. the floor is guava, it's delicious. Uh, no, the floor is distinctly Manny's room. In fact, it looks like someone took the roof or the ceiling, ripped it off and like took some walls and threw them away. And you are now in the place between places. Nanako stands up. I got it in one. I got it in one. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What? And she notices everyone kind of looking at her and she kind of. She says she got a what? I got it in one. Got it in one. Oh, hmm. No, you did a great job. I, that, that was amazing. I didn't even notice. That was really cool, Monaco. You should be really proud of yourself. But thank you. I am. Yes, thank you. But what would have happened if we didn't get it in one? Just out of curiosity? We really need to know that? I would like to know that. Okay. Um... We might have, uh... Ended up in someone's, uh... Personal dream bubbles again. Instead of out here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm having a sudden memory. Squid baby. Squid baby. Squid baby. Oh, huh? We were in oh, other people's oh, dreams. We remembered that. Good. Yeah. That was, Only just now remembering it. That was a while It's strange because it's like, you know, it's not my memory. but It isn't like, my memory either. But it's there sometimes. Like, you know. Yeah. Um, 
you were, uh, yeah, you were there for that. And we uh, ran to that very uh, handsome young man from uh, the... Oh, in in Mecca, I guess. Yes. You think he's, like, real? Real? Like, from our... Well, he was was from our space, but he Uh. didn't... No, he did. He remembered. He remembered who we were oh, wow. in the we real didn't world. No things. We didn't. Ah. Oh. But we didn't. This Wait. Trip. Well, you can cut. I mean, I mean that makes sense, right? Because like the, the dream only extends as far as our 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 city limits. Yeah, and like the dream is is all possibility, and reality is one possibility. You know, that's why. You know, like Anansi is like changing what it is, but it is one thing. Whereas this is all things. Yeah, that he just kind of stares at Nanako. We we need to see Morpheus, but I, I think you are very important. If you can get us into the dreaming, a place that someone from our original space could also uh, interact with. That means you know the gateway to get between one realm to, a, to the other. You I never could, thought I the dreaming could be a, 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 a road. You could get us to the other side, back to our side, maybe. Nanako kind of thinks about it and she's like, I mean, I never thought about it. Um, Behind her appears Izanami. um, A centipede of arms, ghastly and, well, dead. What do you want? Um, I guess that kind of makes sense. He's, she's, they. I'm just going to use they for you. Is that okay? Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Um, Just opens its mouth and screams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what happens. It makes it, it makes the it makes uh, Mariah Carey having a uh, sore throat day noise. <laughs> I set it up for Whistletone, and then I'm always surprised the Whistletone fucking happens. <laughs> this is my fault. Um, that makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah. Izanami, they told me that they are the end of possibilities. The end of potential. So if this is where all potential is, then yeah, potential realities. I never thought of that. It, oh, if wow. You, if, you, if we accidentally went into Emeka's dream because of you, that is confirmation that we went into the dream of someone in a different reality who knew what was going on, or at least knew us from that time. So once we find Morpheus, well, this Morpheus, Morpheus, whatever, um, once we find them, that could potentially be, I don't know, we should probably just go find them and then we can go from there. But it is clear that you are and an important bead. You always were. Oh. Yes, you were always an important bean. You just how now have even more of a purpose. Okay. No. You are the bean that makes this espresso drip, 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 drip. drip. Okay, I'm done. I'm walking. Yes. Stop. You, just walk. hear, you just hear Lenny's voice in your head. Stop. <laughs> the tables have turned. The turns have tables. <laughs> uh, as you start walking, Nanako, you know, she's riding kind of high. She's like, oh, I feel special. And then she has a moment of realization. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Uh, don't make too much noise. We don't want the sheep to come. I really do not want to deal with sheep tonight. I freaking hate those sheep. I mean, and I nice like sometimes. Some of them are all right. What they the tried sheep? to kill me. They tried to accuse me of a crime. They tried to arrest me. Uh, I need everyone to roll me. Uh, okay, uh, let me put it. 
Kwame and Lenny, I need dexterity. Manny, I need charisma. What? 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 You were walking. Seven. You were walking. I'm walking oh. here. Oh. You don't get to roll strength for walking. So, when Nanako talks about, you know, you need to stay quiet and everything, Lenny, you get stealthy. Manny, you hush. Kwame, you got this. You got this. And then you turn the corner, kick a waste paper basket. Where the hell did that come from? It goes flying, and it lands at the feet of... Two sheep guards. No, no. They are woolly. They have red eyes. No. Hey, what are you doing here? We are totally sleep. You know, free falling in the ether, and um, I guess like mouth. What the fuck is that? And you know, we're just trying to. Yeah, you know, we're we're going. Going where? Uh. To see a friend? Uh, are they allowed to do that? I don't think they're allowed to do that. Oh, we are allowed things. to do whatever we want in here. Yeah, and it's a place of raw potential. Well, you telling me there's rules to raw potential? Well, um... That's a theory. Please be nice to me, sir. This is my first day. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, true? is that true, Ma'at? Is it his first day? Ma'at takes tangible form behind you. It is indeed this sheep man's first day on the job. He is not good at his job. Hey! She only speaks the truth. I do. Well, we're going to keep going. I'm sure other... Uh, uh, ill-intentioned individuals might come through. I don't know. That's totally hypothetical. But it won't be us, so we're just going to keep going? Yep. We're just going to keep oh. going. Yeah. Uh, also, your boss told us that you're supposed to tell us how to find uh, Loki and Morpheus. But our boss is Morpheus. Yeah. He wants you to tell us where he and Loki are. Go ahead and roll me charisma. And these guys are kind of dense on a good day, so we're just looking for a three. Okay. I mean, well, they're sheep. They're supposed to follow, aren't they? Let's roll this d4 <laughs> and see what's up. You count One. <laughs> ah! Boy, we do have rerolls. We do have rerolls. Just say. It's a and d4. I will say, if we get five uh, shout outs, uh, toast, or uh, subscriptions, We'll get more. We'll do rerolls again next session. I like this roll. I mean, I guess I can reroll. It's only a D four. I mean, it's. I guess it's fifty fifty. It's a coin flip. Sure, yeah. reroll. It's not even fifty fifty. Four. Hey! Look at that. Give they take it away. Uh, the sheep look at each other. Yeah. Okay. We'll take it. Us. Yeah, I don't see any problem with this. Yeah. There isn't where Morpheus is friends. There shouldn't be any problem for this. Jeez. Sheeps have nothing between their ears except for a walnut. As as we walk. And a wool. Yeah. I'm going to name you uh, Baha Ross. I'm going to name you um, Ramsey. I've never been more flattered in my life. That's your boyfriend. We're dating, I guess. No, so. no. Manny Manny says that to Kwame as they walk no. past Kwame him. Kwame just like shakes his head. <laughs> so Ramsey and what was the other one's name? Uh, Bob. Bob Ross. Yes. Bob Ross. Bob the two of them lead Ross. you through the dreaming, uh, the upside down, nonsensical place. And you hear Loki long before you see him. My boy! Listen, you insufferable douchebag. I swear, I am going to get out of here. I am going to grab your neck. I know you don't have a neck, but I will find your neck. And I am going to just, just 
really, really p- apply pressure. Just keep applying pressure until until th- the movement stops. And then, then, because I can do that, I'm going to bring you back to life. And the... Th- you okay, the, Loki? The school safety squad enters into a throne room. Pressure like it, a trip, 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 that'll never stop. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, you enter a throne room. It kind of strange. It's like if you made the Taj Mahal out of cotton candy. It's beautiful. It's large. Manny Manny tries to eat it. Um, the cotton candy, Manny tries to eat it. Roll me a d20. Oh, Jesus. A d20? Yeah, just roll me a d20. Do... Is that freaking Loki? That's our Loki. I hate him. I love him. I rolled a 9 on a d20. Okay, it kind of tastes like flat root beer. And you look <laughs> down at where you uh, kind of plucked up something to get a taste, and beneath it, you see a uh, dream of someone stuck in traffic, but they forgot their clothes. And everyone else driving is uh, their ex girlfriend. Damn. Double homicide. Not a great dream. Traffic <laughs> covers their eyes and like, you know, like walks on. <laughs> Tastes like flat root beer. Okay, why are we here? Oh, well, we know what we're here. Uh, 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 hello? Where a throne should be is a Shea Lounge. Uh, incumbent huge purple. Of course it's fucking purple. Lying upon it is... The body of a man and the head of kind of a swirling galaxy with planets that don't exist. Um, Around him are pillows and uh, sheepmen. Unlike uh, Ramsey and what was the other name? Bob Ross. And Bob Ross. uh, these These sheep all have little suits on. And this is their version of Morpheus. This is what Morpheus actually looks like. And just a confirmation really quickly. uh, We want to get this Morpheus to help us find Loki? Or is Loki here? Loki's here. He's in a cage. Uh, Inside the throne room, apart from... We gotta rescue him. Okay, yeah. Yes. Inside the throne room, apart from actual Morpheus, you see... uh, you see a cage made out of glass. And on the side, you see uh, Dahlia in various musicals uh, with the parts played by either her or a bunny. Inside, you see Loki, who is currently screaming his head off. And you see your Morpheus, uh, who is crisscross applesauce, hands up, just zen. A very calm bunny. Gotcha. Okay, now I, I, I typed something wrong. Now I get it. This Morpheus has trapped Loki and our Morpheus. And we yep, have in to a get cage. them back. And we gotta get them back. Gotcha. Okay. This is not a nice Morpheus. Nope, this I'm realizing a, this. a bad Morpheus. For some reason, I thought he was just like over it, but not like bad. Nah, I get it. He bad. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 my bad. he bad. He bad. I'm sorry. Bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, As Loki continues to s- scream obscenities, you get the vibe he can't see you. Um, mostly because he screams obscenities kind of in the wrong direction of this Morpheus. But they're directed at Morpheus. Uh, Kwame just you know, walks up the group, I'm assuming. <clears throat> um... Hello? Hello? Are you at the Loki cage or Morpheus? Morpheus. Okay. Uh, I assume that like next to each other. They are. Yeah. Morpheus B, as we'll call him. Morpheus B. The galaxy twists a little bit and the planets align to make a face. 
Oh, hello. Who are you? Um, we are individuals who are interested in those you have kept in that. The troublemaker and the bunny with delusions of Gren. <sighs> sure. Yes. Um, if that's what you call them. If they... I see that they are a nuisance to you. Uh, we could take them off of your hands. And who are you? Um... Your new best friends. Roll We're the charisma. school safety squad. Can I roll charisma, please? Is that someone rolls? Is that someone all... rolls? I want all of you to roll charisma. I think it's funny. Each time someone rolls charisma, it's never the person with the 12 in charisma. <laughs> I, I, rolled a, I rolled a one and I go, We're the school safety squad. That oh, I also. Really dorky. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Wow. Critical barb. <laughs> M- M- Mr. Critical Bard, Mr. Omega, Mr. Omega Jones, um, wow. you just gave me a ration of shit about asking people to roll charisma. What did you just roll? I'm not what saying did you just it. Roll on the D12 I refuse. You're so proud of? I refuse. I'm sorry. What did you just roll on the D12? You're so proud of? It doesn't matter because I have a reroll. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Goodbye uh, for our audience at home. CB. That's a three. Hi, CB. We knew you. So you can just explain hey, why this person gives us everything we want. This is bull! <laughs> oh. The dice are mean. The dice are really mean. For those of us who might be listening to us in podcast form, for, for, we rolled a, a one, a one, a two, and then a three. So we rolled a spent. We did a great job. <sighs> great job. So great. I quit. No. Game over, man. Game over. Morpheus stands and he starts off at, you'd estimate, maybe 20 feet. And as he walks towards you, he shrinks down to a manageable six and a half, maybe seven feet. And he looks down at you. Well, the cosmos of his head looks down at you. Your club sounds like it's for dorks. And I don't think you're my new best friends, because I uh, don't have a lot of friends. I and if wonder they were, why. they wouldn't be dorks. Listen, oh. I like get that, because like for a while there, none of my friends were dorks, and I thought that was like cool. But honestly, like this past year, all my friends became dorks. Um, and hey. it's honestly been like the best year. Hey, not a coast says. Probably in unison with me. Hey, also says Dahlia. <laughs> Just a, un- a unison hey from the three of them. <laughs> okay, then we're not friends. You're correct. We are here to um, um, ask politely to take them off of your hands. They don't need to be here. They are not from this place. I mean, yeah, I know. You got the loud ginger one who's constantly yelling and talking friend you're talking about riddles and then you got the bunny who thought he was me and i would never uh, be a bunny it's 100 percent you even if you don't want to admit that just from a different reality also in that one you're much nicer and you are a friend Sorry, the cat. Um, go ahead and let me get another charisma roll from Manny and Kwame. And go ahead and add one to the roll. Three. Thank you. Mm. 11. <laughs> All right. They're not buying your story, Manny, about them being a friend or anything. But Kwame, what you're saying seems to have their attention. Maybe it's, maybe it's the fact that you kind of had a bit of a day. Who knows? 
it, we don't have much time, and you seem like you have all the time in the world. It's true, uh, I'm immortal. Yeah, we're not. Um, so we would like it if you would not mind allowing us to take those two, so we can fix a big problem created by the devil. Mm. I mean, I would. I would just let them go, but how do I know they're not going to uh, cause a huge problem for me? Well, I figure, like, um, if you let us have them, then we're going to go fight the devil, and either he'll, like, I don't know, like, kill us all and end reality, or, um, or we'll succeed, and then we'll go back to where we came from. So either way, like... I don't think you'll see him again, or us. I don't know. I need some promises. Namely, that the ginger isn't going to be a problem. He's kind of a huge douchebag. Yeah, I, know, I don't think we can promise that he won't be a problem. I'm really going to need you to stop talking about my friend like that. Please. Hmm. How about this? There's a rat in my kingdom. And I don't like rats. I like sheep. He picks up Bob Ross and uh, Ramsey. See? I like these. They're fluffy. They're good for sleeping on. And he just kind of drops them and they fall and they make little squeaky noises when they hit the ground. <laughs> well, there's a rat running around. And this rat's been a huge pain in my ass. Not as much as these two. Loki continues to scream as uh, you are now seeing under pressure, uh, not under pressure, just pressure uh, from Encanto, performed by bunnies. Oh Jesus! Instead of instead of uh, what was it? Horses, cows, instead of donkeys, instead of donkeys, <laughs> just, just just giant rabbits, giant rabbits. Okay, um, is this this Gavin individual? Oh, you know his name, the fake god. Yeah, the fake divinity. Yeah. Okay, well, if we deal with that, then we'll get Loki and Bunny Morpheus, Morpheus. And we'll be good. Yeah, that sounds like a good deal. I like that. I think everyone ends up happy. You get the ginger you're defensive of, and I no longer have a rat. Okay. Um, now, this is a god, so this might be interesting, but we can try. I mean, we fought gods before. That's not I guess like... That's true. Yeah, Anansi kind of pokes you in the shoulder. Am, am I ju am I just the, the liver that is chopped? What what is this bullshit? No, you're the spider who's going to get wrapped up in its own web if he doesn't shut up. I'm just saying, I'm a god. Technically, right. you are folklore spirit. <gasps> that, like Lenny just like puts a hand on Kwame. It's like, listen, I know you're like going through some stuff. But, like, you're saying a lot of things that you're going to regret later, and I just don't want you to, like, keep down this path. You're right. You're God. You're God. You've got a story. You have all the power in your hand and your other seven hands. All right, let's go find this rat. Oh, sounds like a good deal. Um, can I um, Can I just go and, like, talk to them really fast? I just um, want to say hello. Uh, why not? Um, a hole appears in the side of the glass cage, and suddenly you get to hear all the curse words in beautiful high definition. Loki! What the? Loki! Loki! Loki runs to the small viewing portal that, uh, this Morpheus has created for him. Oh, my me. Oh, Thank heavens you got here. I wasn't sure if Lenny got distracted by something shiny. Hello. Hi. No, no, we just had a lot of oh, stuff. Oh, Manny, it's so good to see you. 
It's good to see you too. I've I've missed you. We've we've got a lot to talk about. I don't know how much you know about what's going on, but oh, it's I, all I, kinds I, I, of topsy turvy out there. Oh, I know, I know everything. It's been very very. Uh, I you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. You're fine, and that's oh, why do I feel good? I feel good about something good for someone else. Is that am I sick? You're happy because I'm your friend and you missed me. Well, it's not just that. It's the fact that you're alive and you seem to be well. I'm kind of feeling positive emotions about that. And I've never done that before. So I'm wondering if maybe being in here with the mediocre... Uh, just, put no, no, no. just put out some sod. Just put out some sod. Shut up. Uh, hi, works. hi, kind of hi Morpheus. Hi. Oh, don't bother talking to him. He... Ha- as soon as we got here, he just fell into a dream. God fell into a dream, and I can't wake him up. I've tried. Well, I, figured, I, I figured he'd probably wake up to say hi to me. Hi, Morpheus. There is no response. Well, maybe if I were Dahlia, he'd wake up. Anyways, <sighs> we're going to go and find some rat, some problem that the other Morpheus is having. And take we're going to defeat the great horned one. The great horned one, that one. I was totally paying attention. I definitely didn't space out or anything like that. Because I'm not a space cadet. Don't do that. Don't do that. Anyways. Yeah. It's, um, like it's, it's not space related. Oh, you hear in the back of your head. But, but my aunt is kind enough to you. not do that out loud. I'm not I'm not a space cadet. Anyways. Um, yeah, we're going to go take care of the great horned one. And we're going to get you out of here. Okay, sounds good. Um, real quick, could I could I have your hand real quick? You stick your hand through the window and they hold it. They clamp their hands around yours um, a little longer than you kind of expect, but uh, you feel something cold and metal. Four things cold and metal in his hand. I just kind Take of... Take this. Okay. I and he lets go. my hands around the objects and pull my hand back through and kind of stuff my hand in my pocket. We'll be back soon. Thank you. Oh, God. And the portal closes. And um, now it's Cats and not the 1988 Broadway recording of Cats. We're talking the 2019 Cats. This and the one that is- definitely made the, it was definitely like a preamble to the, to the pandemic. Definitely one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. Absolutely. Sure. And the worst part is, the worst part is, it's not even the good part with Jennifer Hudson doing memories that everyone Or Skimble for. Shakes the, the Railway Cat. I don't know, how was, good. How was he so that? naked? Um, he was great. He's the only part of that game. Oh, is it what? Movie. Is it? Is it the revised version where they cut out all the people Skimble wearing Shakes? hoodies in the background? Yes. <laughs> well, Skimble now Shakes they're all rabbits. Is the best part of the whole movie. Let's just be real. And you see Loki scream in absolute terror as a rabbit. Sometimes their, their feet are human. Get off. And they're wearing clothes underneath the skin, and then they do it again, and it's just horrifying for everyone involved, especially me. Um, it's so bad, it's good infamy. Why is Rebel Wilson rip her skin off and have a dress and also her skin on? We're not doing this. We're not. <laughs> okay, moving on. How about this? If we get all right, five no. toes, re rolls, ten toes, we do a. Uh, no. Voluntary. You don't have to watch along of cats. Oh my <laughs> god. No, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> coward. Oh. Good coward. Mr. That was a hard veto from Dom in case y'all did not hear that. It's a hard veto from Dom. Well, with that, School Safety Squad now has a mission. Find Skaven in the Dreaming. You know who his, uh, you know it's a divinity and you know it belongs, you know who it belongs to. So at least that's nice. Means Edmund might be running around in here somewhere. Is it Edmund? Different name. I think it's Kyle. Kyle, Kyle. that's right, Kyle. Kyle might be running around in here somewhere. Cool, okay. Mm. All right, everybody. Can I use like, my telepathy because i 
in in our reality, I was the holder of this the Skaven key, so I imagine I would kind of hmm. be able to feel it. Maybe. Oh, that's a very good. Or point. At least give us a, a like a, a compass point to head towards. Yeah, uh, that's a really good point. Um, go ahead and roll me. Spend an AP point for this, but I want you to roll me intelligence and range. And I'm going to be looking for at least a 10. I got an 11. Nice! Got a nice. Okay. He's a smart boy. Happy boyfriend over here. <laughs> uh, trying to map the dreaming is kind of like trying to, you know, I think it. Yeah, it's less like he's not trying to be like, what direction do I have to go? It's more like, I just, this is a dream. I just have to be there. Like, that's how dreams work. You don't go a place, you are a place. Well, it works a little differently outside of your own dreamscape when you're in the collective dreamscape. You do actually have to travel there. But now you know where to go. And at the very least, you have a guide. Um, Manny, when the school safety squad exits the throne room, uh, do you check your pocket? Yeah. As soon as we are, like, out of Morpheus's line of sight, um, I kind of, like, gently kind of give Lenny an elbow. Like, just a very gentle one. Um, and, like, like, you know, taps their head. Yep. He's gonna... I imagine he probably has, like an open channel like he kind of like just passively senses emotions and when someone is looking to like make a connection he opens that channel between people so i got something interesting hmm. i i look he handed me something and like manny reaches into their pocket and pulls out whatever it is that they were given and you were given money. four keys you know what these keys are oh shit you know what these are, right? Uh, yeah, I have an idea. <laughs> let's let's uh, let's pause really fast. Hey, everybody, let's 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 slow down a second. Okay. Um, we will slow down. Nanako and, and, and Kim, can you keep an eye behind us? Make sure we're not being followed. They give a nod and they uh, cover you. If you see any sheep, just uh, they say they went that way, and that'll keep them running around for a while. Um, Bob Ross and uh, it's just Ba Ross. Ba B A A Ba yeah. Ross and Ba and Ross and Ramsey. Should we be offended? I I don't think we are allowed. Not you. I'm not talking about you. You have names now, so now you're people. Oh, cool. I want a boat. I want to get a mortgage. <laughs> I want to get a mortgage. No, I don't think you do. <laughs> Not in this economy. That part. Um, so, yes, Manny, in your hand are four keys. Um, why don't you describe three of them? Or how about you describe one of them? Um, one of them actually looks super familiar to... Uh, um, Manny, because they are the holder of that key in their other universe. Um, it is a golden key that uh, is topped with like a, a conch shell. Okay. Um, and the conch shell is in various colors. Like all of the swirls of it are in like various colors. Like it's not like Ooh, a pretty a single colored conch shell. Um. And their eyes kind of light up, and they're like, oh, I know this one. All right. Uh, Lenny, why don't you go ahead and describe another key? Uh, there, there is a key that um, <clears throat> it is, it is, looks like it's made of like old granite, uh, like old, old granite. And like it, the edges have like sort of, for, like broken off but have been smoothed over with time in certain spots and there is a relief on it uh of a, a faded relief of like a humanoid figure and also some some rams and kwame what's uh what's another key look like 
So the shape of the key actually looks very simple. Um, it looks like a normal, you know, like a, a simple normal key and the um the the uh the part that's normally held seems to be um a it's a set of vertical and horizontal lines though it seems to be upside down and if you look at it, it almost looks like it could be an inverted cross in a way but what's important is that it is vanta black Ooh. it almost looks like it's inverted like you should be able to like the recess of the key versus being a, a concave thing but it is very tangible um it is very very void like abyss I love it. Um, well, you now have three divinities available to you. Do you open your hearts to them? Open your heart to me. Baby. Baby. Yes. I think Manny immediately presses the key uh, to their heart. Make room, uh, you're about to make a friend. And I, I look at Anansi and I say, you know this isn't personal. I will try not to take it personally. <laughs> Ninkasi is always ready for a party. Yeah. Ninkasi is getting the drinks ready and laughing hysterically as she does so. Yeah, I think you're I think you're gonna like this roommate. I am your sword and I am your shield. Do you accept me into your heart? Yes. I have a sword and I have a shield, but would you be my um would you be my uh my armor? With gusto. It's gonna be very funny when, when you when it, when I figure out what your very first uh ability is. I say this out of character because this is all great great punning without realizing it. All right. Uh, Manny, as you accept this key into your heart, what appears around you? Um, a conch shell actually kind of forms on uh, like Manny's chest that you all can see, but it's not like corporeal. It's almost like kind of this uh, sort of shimmering, almost like they're wearing a necklace with a conch. Like, it's very big. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite large, but it sort of like ripples, like like wind is passing through it. And when, uh, as if it's manifesting its power for the first time, you see almost like, you know, when the sailors transform and the ribbon explodes across their chest mm -hmm. and like wraps them in like, you know, it's like that, but it, it's basically like a, a breastplate made of wind. Mm, oh, like goes that. around their chest. Um, that's why when you said with gusto, I laughed. Because oh, the the deity that I have chosen um, is a god of wind and air. Wind, air, beauty, many other things. Manny has accepted Quetzalcoatl into their heart. All right. Lenny? Hmm. I am your sword and I am your shield. Do you accept me into your heart? Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, sure. Uh, why not? And what appears in you? Uh, there is, like, like, wisps of smoke that sort of, uh, like, like incense or off a cigarette that kind of, like, form little clouds and within the smoke you get the impression of of a, a of a, a feminine figure in the smoke like deep back like like you're seeing it through this that there is something that living within the smoke but you never get a full like it's it's the perspective you don't see the whole thing like you look through the like the wisp of smoke and you'll get like part of it like a face or you know whatever or so it's it's living within this like smoke and that is that is uh, the manifestation of. Uh, I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of this. I'm sure. Uh, Camrus, ca uh, 
Camru Spia. I'm gonna I'll put that in chat so people can uh can Google that for themselves. K A M R U S with a weird thing on top of it. Uh E P A, uh, which is uh or, which is the uh, Hittite god of uh, medicine and magic. I love it. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, Ninkasi's not much of a talker. She's usually just kind of joyous and laughing. Like a very fun aunt. But she, uh, it's interesting when Kamru Sipa uh, joins you. You feel someone is uh, very talkative now and in your heart. And finally, we go to Kwame. I missed it. Who did Eric take? Kamru uh, Sipa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. An, an old Hittite, sort of like Turkey kind of also a little bit ancient bronze age germany Ooh, I don't I'm, I'm i am very much a a mythology nerd i've never heard of them yeah not okay. a whole lot is known about her <laughs> yeah she's the mother of the sea uh and uh her big thing is that there's a story about her completing a ritual to to calm like the god one of the other gods was like raging and she was able to calm them uh by sacrificing mm -hmm. a bunch of rams. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yep. I love how we now have the earth, the sky, and the sea represented in our four in three of our picks here. So we're getting there. Yep. Um, when the Fire Nation attacking. <laughs> I'm also going to say, uh, Lenny, something smells really good. Because she was associated with uh, figs, sesame. Yeah, that, that's part of the ritual. You get yeah. all the honey and figs and, and cream and oil and grapes and olives and then sacrifice a couple of rams. And then God's not angry anymore. God, I really want a gyro plate now. Um, all right, Kwame. You took the black key. Uh-huh. Good man. What, what do you accept into your heart? As I hear this voice or whatever, um, I say, <sighs> all of this uh, discovery about myself and the recent events here, I've always known there was a, a piece of me missing. Um, and while Anansi can fill it with things that I want. I need it, something else. Um, and if there's going to be a void in my heart, I um, might as well manifest that. And while Anansi is a creator um, and does amazing things, now I look over at my shoulder, hmm. I think I need the opposite of that as well. I am your sword and I am your shield. Do you accept me into your heart? I do. So what does Abaddon look like? You see uh, a, 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 um, a sphere almost form around me. Um, and not in the fear, a circle, um, around me, and there's a little more in the back, it's almost like an oval. And coming from that, you see just this amorphous blob of black, icky, like just icker. Um, and like as it comes up, it's constantly slides like slushing off, like too much is starting to overflow. And as it begins to form into a form behind him, much taller, um, you see in that shadowy icker, two extremely large wings come out. Um, and on the head, you see two large horns kind of curve up and out. Um, 
And he just looks behind and goes, going to have to get used to that. Yep. A Those pleasure. are black and minor gold. They are. With this new power accepted into your heart, you have gained a second divinity. And for those playing the home version of the game, the way this is going to work is as a bonus action, our players will be able to spend one AP to switch to their other divinity. You said one AP? I thought it was two. I thought AP. it was two. I mean, oh, if you wanted to be right. one, listen, if you wanted it's to be two, one, we do. Dang it. You're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already giving you a huge boop. Uh, you want three yeah, three AP? Final answer. No, no. Uh, it's yeah. two AP to switch to the new one. The new one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it is a free action to switch back, uh, but you cannot do it the same turn you switch. Yeah. However, the turn you have activated this other divinity, you may uh, use any of their divinity powers for one AP. So I thought. So then, so then during that turn, during the rest of the turn, it's always going to be two AP to use them. Uh, no. Uh, after that turn, uh, their AP is back to normal rules. The first power is one AP. The second is two. Oh, AP. so if we would get a second power with them, do we have? We don't have a second power. With you them, do yet. have a second power. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. Because oh, we're level, level five. five. We're level five, uh, so they get two. I have. Oh, I only made one power. Oh no. Oh no. I know what the second one is going to be. <laughs> I gotta think about that one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. I didn't realize that. Uh, Note it. Thank you. That makes a lot more sense now. So on that on that turn there summoned, if I wanted to use the second ability, it would only cost one, and then from then on it'd be two, and then one for the first one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. And if you perchance get a third power, who knows when that's gonna happen? It will also only be one AP to use the turn you switch. God, I gotta think of a second power now. I was not thinking of this. <laughs> okay. As you accept an ancient lost god, a rainbow serpent, and a fallen angel into your hearts, you can't help but feel that you are not alone. And that is where we are going to wrap up the adventure part of this episode. But before we go any further, we have a school announcement. Bum, 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 bum. Good evening, kids. Or should I say, good evening, kids in the dreams. I hope you're all having wonderful dreams. Uh, I assume I am here in visiting you in your dreams. Is uh, class just kind of omnipotent? Yes. Oh, fuck. She cool. is everywhere. And she is nowhere. Uh, we, we got some announcements today. Uh, the first comes from Five Foot Latina. says, uh, the art club is having a miniatures painting workshop this weekend. Our students are welcome. Paint will be provided. Bring your own minis. But we'll probably have a few of those available. You know, it's nice. You know, you want to get into it. It's a fun hobby. You know, it's a, you, you do a lot. You know, you don't got to be good at it to have fun. And then we got a DJ regular who says, The North Point Chamber of Commerce uh, would like to give a heartfelt thanks to the North Point Academy. Computer clubs help for eliminating the ransomware from our computer network. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's gone now, apparently. The, you them nerds in the computer club to fix it. Uh, consequently, we have shattered, uh, we have sh shuttered our plans uh, for formally accepting cryptocurrency into the local economy. There's in cryptocurrency. It, it's bad. It's a bad thing all around. They ain't no good. It's just a way for, for rich and powerful people to grift you uh, out of money. You know, the only thing it revolutionized is fraud. Uh, but that's the announcements. Uh, sleep tight. <laughs> wow uh, wowie wow oh i can't wait for y'all to see what i've decided my powers are for this for quetzalcoatl i'm so excited oh yeah so uh my name is stephen pope you can find me online at uh well the professional hobbit i guess i don't really have much of an online presence i'm too busy writing uh but hey check out son of oak uh publisher of the award-winning game game city of mist and hey they're publishing something else oh, oh that's right my game queers that's well, not my game but i'm the lead writer on it 
So uh, check that out. It's going to be really cool. And hey, they recently just launched a new game, uh, which I am totally remembering the name of. Do not worry about it. Uh, da, 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 da. New City of Mist game. Oh, bother. I can't remember the name. But hey, it's cool. It's Cyberpunk. Check it out. I will have the name next week. I've been very busy. It's been a rough day. Please be nice to me. Um, uh, Eric, where can they find you? Uh, Why well, they can find me if they want to uh, in about an hour and a half. I, I will be on twitch.tv slash BNB game uh, tabletop BNB tabletop, which is the board and barrel. which is a, a tabletop show. Uh, we are going to be playing visitor uh, in uh, Visitor in Blackwood Grove, which is a fun little uh, board game that I'm a big fan of. We're going to be playing that and and also giving a copy away. So if you want a chance to maybe get it, if you watch it and like it, you know, maybe check that out. Uh, but apart from that, you can check out uh, Mostly Eric on all the social medias. That's my name on all of them. Very cool. Uh, Aki, where can they find you? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. My entire streaming schedule, such as it is, can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Aki. That's S-H-I-B-A-R-E-A-K-I. Um, the next thing you can see me in will be tomorrow afternoon on uh, the Cookout TTRPG's YouTube. Um, we'll be back for some more Bonds Beyond Time, which is the Mage the Ascension game I play in. Um, yeah, should be fun. Very cool. And last but certainly not least, uh, Mr. Omega Jones. Are you there for hey. You? My name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard, Critical Bard across all social media channels. Uh, you can find me everywhere at Critical Bard. Uh, I do many different streams, whether on my channel as a Twitch partner or on many other channels. Tomorrow you can catch me uh, for episode seven of Ties of Wild Mount with uh, Realmsmith over on youtube.com slash Realmsmith. Uh, you there's too much happening. Uh, You're picking yeah. up Thursday, though, is the most important. You said what? The thing that you do on Thursday is the most important, though. What do I do on Thursdays? Twitch oh, meetings. crap. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> the struggle right now. We're um, all struggling today, y'all. I, I, I am the current host of the weekly on Twitch for Twitch Gaming. Uh, we had one episode last week, and it was great. Uh, I got three more episodes to do with them, and potentially more, depending on how it goes. You can catch that every Thursday morning. Uh, for the next three weeks, uh, just a good old grand old time trying to put some uh, some tabletop representation into the gaming space as a whole, especially on Twitch, um, in Twitch spaces. Uh, and yeah, honestly, just check out my my socials for all the things that I do. Uh, I do a lot. Hmm. Very cool. Um, hey, you can check catch up on all Saving Throw shows uh, shows on YouTube or as podcasts. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, the whole nine yards really helps us, and it lets you know when new content's coming. So check it out. Uh, you can join the Exploration Society on Ko-fi. Join our Discord. We talk shop all day, including a thread just for this episode. Very fun. Um, and hey, uh, this Tuesday, I believe, we have the RPG Exploration Society. Monday! It's Monday this week for RPG Exploration Society, so that's going to be very fun. Make sure you check that out. And we will be here next week, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, and hey, special thanks to Dom Zoe for running everything behind the scenes. Can't do it without you, man. So, uh, until next time. Catch you later. Bye!